Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be going over my top 5 League of Legends props for August 26th. Um, if you're not signed up to Underdog or Prize Picks, you can use code TTL for a 100% deposit match on both websites. We've been killing it on both, which actually leads me to my Patreon. If you're interested, it's only $20 a month. We're up over 30 units this month, which means if you bet $100 per play, you're up over three grand. Um, I've absolutely been killing it this month. Obviously, there's some variants, so we'll go on streaks of two or three days of just absolutely smashing it, and then maybe two or three days of losing. But overall, since August 5th, we're up over 30 units. We've been smashing it, and I have a lot of units in play tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. On both League of Legends and CSGO so if you're interested go ahead and sign up um, you'll get those plays for tomorrow it's in the discord and there's a guide on how to connect your patreon and discord on my patreon so yeah just feel free to sign up then sign up to underdog and prize picks you'll get all the plays for both sites and yeah join us let's kill it and let's make some money um, let's get straight into the video though I absolutely love all five of these league plays just let me make that clear um, sometimes I'm iffy on some of the plays. Today, I absolutely love all five. Um, we have prop number one, which is Larson over 9.5. Um, before I get too far into this, I do want to say I'm not going over the LPL game just because a lot of those have already been bumped either up or down. So it's really hard to get a read. Um, I had some yesterday, but it's a little hard um, now. So, yeah. Um, do with that what you will. These are all for the afternoon games. Larson over 9.5. He has an average of 3.6 kills per game and 4.9 kills per win. I expect the Mad Lions versus Rogue games to be super bloody and super close. Larson has been a player that I have consistently taken the overs on and he's consistently hit for me. I absolutely love this play tomorrow. 9.5 kills is just such a low number for what he's capable of and I see him getting 12 to 13 kills tomorrow afternoon. I think that Rogue win this series and I think that they go 2-1 to one in the first three games which gives me pretty good reason to take this over since he's averaging almost 5 kills per win and around three kills per loss. That would set him at around that 13 kill mark. The second prop that I love is Kaiser over 1.5. He has an average of just under one kill per game, and he is the support of Mad Lions. And he actually tends to play a lot of support champions that are up in the enemy's face. He doesn't really play much Yumi or anything like that. He tends to go over this number in a three game span, and I believe that he should hit this pretty easily. Um, like I said, just because he averages just under one kill per game. I think he could see a two or three kill game and immediately cash this over. Um, it just really depends on what champion he gets. If we see a pike or something like that, I would absolutely love to see that. But even if he plays Lulu or something, something about him is even if he's playing an enchanter, he really just doesn't care. Like, he will take the 80 carries kill without a second thought, which absolutely makes me love um, this play. Prop number three, I have Luger over 13.5. He has an average of 5.6 kills per win. Um, not only that, this matchup is going to be extremely bloody. So we have Counter Logic Gaming versus Golden Guardians. Both of these teams are known for being extremely bloody and extremely fast paced. Um, neither of them are like the top of the LCS, but they're both middle of the pack and they both have a ton of kills in all of their games. This should be extremely fun to watch and I do expect CLG to win overall, which makes me love this over at 13.5. I could see him going over 20 kills tomorrow between those three games as long as the games go as bloody as I expect them to. And I mean, I do expect them to, right? I expect like 25 to 30 kills total between both teams in the three games, in each of the three games. So I'm expecting like 80, 90 kills throughout uh, both teams in these three games. And there's plenty of room for both Luger and Stixa to go over, which means it leads me to prop four. I have Stixa over 8.5. This is the AD carry from Golden Guardians, so the opposite team 
Um, he has an average of 3.7 kills per game and 6.2 kills per win. He is a great AD carry. Um, I don't expect him to be able to carry Golden Guardians to victory in the series tomorrow, but it should be a close matchup. And as long as Golden Guardians can just take one game in the first three, he should be fine. I could see him hitting this number in just the one game that Golden Guardians wins. Um, again, this matchup is just going to be extremely fast-paced, extremely bloody. So I love taking both of those of overs. Um, Stick say, I mean, this is an 80 carry with the line of 8.5. Um, in any other league, this is unheard of. And with both of these teams being as fast-paced and as bloody as they are, I have no doubt in Stick say going over. And prop number five, I have Ale over one. This line is absurd. Um, this line may have been bumped. I would not doubt it to be bumped to at least two or at least 1.5, but one is just absurd. Um, he has an average of 1.1 kills per game. Um, he literally averages over what they have his line set, and this is for three games, not just two. Um, similar to Kaiser, he plays a bunch of champions that just get in the enemy's face. I have no worries about him getting at least one kill tomorrow, right? He has three games to get an opportunity to get one kill. So, I mean, I expect him to at minimum push, but he should cash it pretty easily. Um, he's hit this in seven out of his last 10, 10 games, and oddly enough, eight of his last 10 losses. Um, he is not afraid to take the 80 carries kill, which is a great thing for this line. And even if he was, again, it's literally one kill. So, I mean, the odds of him getting at least one kill in three games is extremely high especially with his averages and how he tends to play and the champions that he tends to play. This is just a no-brainer. I would take this up to two. So if it's at 1.5, as you see this, still take it. And I'm actually going to go ahead and go through that as well. Larson, I would take up to 10.5. Kaiser, I would probably stop at two so that you get, I mean, at two, I would still take it but don't take it at 2.5, just so you have the safety of the push in case he just gets two. Um, Luger, I would take up to like 14.5. I wouldn't go any higher than that though, just in case. Um, Stixe, I would take up to like 10.5. I think 8.5 is ridiculous for him. And then for Ale, I, again, I would take up to 1.5 or two. Um, but yeah, those are my top five props of the day. Again, just to remind you, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, it's patreon.com slash test the limit. Link will be in my bio and in the description. Uh, thank you guys for all the support on the YouTube as of late. We hit 3.3K subscribers today, this morning, and I just really appreciate that from you guys. And I'm going to continue doing content whenever I can, whenever I'm not working or taking care of the daughter. Um, thank you guys so much. It's a blessing having a community. Um, that is as nice as you guys are, and it's very rewarding. And, um, yeah, just hope you guys have a great day. Let's make some money tomorrow, and I'll see you guys next time.